where how the Tamil Nadu governor has stoked a fresh controversy with his remarks on secularism. In fact, during a speech in Kanyakumari, Governor Aran Ravi has called secularism a European concept and has asserted that India doesn't need it. He also claimed that many frauds have been committed against the people of the country, one of which is the wrong interpretation of secularism. Not just that, Aran Ravi also accused the former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi for introducing the word secularism into the preamble of the Constitution in 1976 for appeasement politics. Listen in. One fraud is they have tried to give a wrong interpretation of secularism. They will tell you we are secular. What does it mean? Secularism is an European concept. Secularism is not a Bharati concept. In Europe, Secularism came because there was a fight between the church and the king. Now, as expected, his remarks drew sharp criticism from the opposition. Both Congress and the DMK have condemned the remarks, calling it anti-constitutional. Listen it. The Tamil Nadu governor, Mr. Ravi, is known for making such absurd irrational, unreasonable, provocative statements. What he means by dharm, what he means by secularism? Does he understand secularism in proper way? He thinks it is European concept. What about uh, India? In, uh, our uh, constitution defines India as a secular democratic republic. The recent statement of the Tamil Nadu governor regarding secularism is unacceptable and the governor's views are condemnable views also. It is against the constitution and against the thinking of the idea of India by Mahatma Gandhi, Baba Sahib Ambedkar, Spotted Jawala Lero and Sadar Patel. Mr. Ravi is speaking against the constitution. We all know that BJP and the RSS wants to change the constitution of India, which is, which is based on Baba Sahib Ambedkar's thinking. And this, we will never allow that to happen. Meanwhile, BJP has supported the governor's statement and said that sheer copy-pasting a foreign concept doesn't serve India any good. Many of these um, so-called leaders from DMK I have never studied political science. Secularism is a concept, European concept, and um, copying it and copy uh, pasting it doesn't serve the Indian diversity. But in our country with so many religions, so many uh, followers, we have to keep all of them in equity. And that is what true secularism is all about. And that was what Governor Ravi was talking about. If these gentlemen did not understand what he is saying, there is a problem with them, not with Governor Ravi. I have not seen the video of R. N. Ravi stating this, but secular is in the blood of each and every Indian. We have been ruled for thousand years by our inverters. If every Indian is not secular, there would not be any peace here. So it is inbuilt, it is in the every life and every breath of Indian people and Indian citizens. No, we would see dharma and secular are no different terms. It's one and the same. What in the end is, it all uh, leads to humanity. Uh, let's respect each and every individual, let's respect each and every human. That's what it leads to. We didn't have to look at it uh, through the prism of some other meaning or text or context. India, the land of dharam, the land of secularism is there in the blood of every Indian. It's not from yesterday. For thousands of years, it's there.